Today, we're going to talk about the best way to put the reed on the mouthpiece for saxophone playing. The first thing we need to do is take our neck and our mouthpiece, and we're going to go ahead and put our mouthpiece on the neck. Whenever you're sliding it down the cork, make sure to twist it and not just push it so that you don't have to force it as much. Before we move on, make sure that the flat part of the mouthpiece is lined up corresponding to how you play. I play with the saxophone straight out in front of me, not to the side. So I want this flat part of the mouthpiece to be parallel with the ground, or in this case, parallel with the table. For our next step, we need to put the ligature on the mouthpiece. I like to hold the neck in my non-dominant hand. Since I'm right-handed, I like to hold it in my left hand. So let's go ahead and take our ligature and put it on the mouthpiece, and let's make sure that it's a little bit loose. You can see that it sits lower than the mouthpiece line on this particular model. Finally, we need to put our reed on our mouthpiece. So let's take our reed, make sure that every time you grab the reed, you're grabbing it by the thicker end and not by the thinner end. It's very fragile up here, and we would hate to hurt our reed. So now I move my non-dominant hand up to the ligature so I can kind of push up that ligature a little bit. And then I just go ahead and slide that fatter end of the reed between the ligature and the mouthpiece. Here, I start to line that ligature up with the line that's on my mouthpiece. And I also check to see if the tip of my reed is close to the tip of my mouthpiece. A good rule of thumb for this is to make sure that you can see a little bit of the mouthpiece over the tip of the reed, just about a hair's width. That looks good to me, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the final step, which is tightening the ligature. With your ligature, I like to have it firm, but not extremely tight, so that you're able to loosen it later on. But, again, firm enough that you're sure that the reed is not going to move at all. See how I push it right here, and it doesn't budge? That is a good tightness. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. I've seen a lot of ways that people put reeds on mouthpieces, but this is by far my favorite and the way that I use every time. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something today. See you later.